Hello everybody, my name is Catherine. I work with Miss Maggie in the children's room and today we thought we'd switch it up by having me help out with story time for a little bit. And I have one book that I was able to take out before we close and I have a very special guest of honor for our reading today, Sir Oliver Hartford. He's going to be my little companion today and hopefully keep me and everybody entertained. Oh yes, he's very excited for this book. And our book today is called Quiet Bunny and Noisy Puppy, which this guy knows all about being a noisy puppy. It is by Lisa McHugh and it's a very cute book. So let us begin. Oh, look how happy and cute they are. Quiet Bunny woke up one morning to find the forest blanketed in snow. Big white snowflakes swirled around his head as he hopped through the forest. I wish I had someone to play with in the snow, thought Quiet Bunny. He hopped to Bear Cub's den. Thump, thump, thump. Mother Bear peeked out. I'm sorry, Quiet Bunny. Bear Cub cannot play. She said with a big yawn. We are getting ready to hibernate. See you in the spring. You hibernate a lot. Quiet Bunny hopped to the pond, but the ducks had flown south for the winter and Bullfrog was fast asleep under the ice. Quiet Bunny had no one to play with. Oh dear, what do you think is going to happen? Let's find out. <gasps> it's on this page. <laughs> Suddenly, out from behind a snowdrift leaped a puppy. The puppy jumped up and down. Quiet Bunny sat very still. Hello, yipped the puppy. I live on the farm. Want to play? What do you think is going to happen? Is that you? Did you meet the Quiet Bunny? Too fancy right now. Quiet Bunny had never met before. And the puppy was not at all like the quiet bunny. Quiet bunny had large floppy ears. The puppy's ears were small and pointy. You have the floppy ears. Quiet bunny had a soft fluffy tail. The puppy's tail was long and skinny. Quiet Bunny was quiet. The puppy was noisy. Owl heard a noisy puppy's loud barking. From her snowy perch high above in the tree, she fluttered down. Quiet Bunny, she hooted. Farm animals and forest animals may be different, but we are all animals. You can be different and still be friends. Quiet Bunny and Noisy Puppy watched Owl fly away. They looked at each other and then... They began to play! Quiet Bunny jumped over the snowy tree branches. Noisy Puppy wriggled underneath him. A very noisy puppy. Quiet Bunny scampered around the frozen pond. Noisy puppy slid across it.
You don't try that. They played hide and seek. Quiet Bunny hid inside a log. They played tag. Quiet Bunny hopped up the hill. Noisy Puppy tumbled down. Ruff, 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 ruff. Quiet Bunny and Noisy Puppy were opposite in every way, but soon they became fast friends, possibly best friends. Every morning, Noisy Puppy left the farm to play with Quiet Bunny in the forest, and the winter days passed happily by. What season do you think we're coming up to, Oliver? Then the snow began to melt. First Christmas burgers, flowers bloomed. As the friends frolicked about the meadow, Quiet Bunny noticed a flock of birds returning to the forest. Spring was coming! Quiet Bunny happily jumped up and down. Noisy Puppy sat silent. Oh no, Noisy Puppy. Now that spring it, it is spring, I cannot play in the forest every day, said Noisy Puppy sadly. It is time for me to work on the farm. Quiet Bunny stayed on the hillside and watched as Noisy Puppy headed home. Ruff, 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 ruff. Bear Cub woke up ready to play. Bullfrog hopped about and the duck slapped in the pond down in the pond. Quiet Bunny was happy to see his friends, his forest friends. But he missed Noisy Puppy. Spring turned to summer and summer to fall. There's leaves out, there's a chipmunk. The bunny's becoming friends with a grasshopper. Quiet Bunny woke up one morning to find the forest blanketed in snow. He heard a sound. What do you think that sound is? Arf, 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 grrr, woof, arf, 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 arf. The friends looked more different than ever. Noisy Puppy had grown bigger. Quiet Bunny had stayed little, but inside they were the same. Two best friends romped through the forest, over, under, around, across, in and out, up and down. Woof, 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 woof. And that is the end of our story. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to our very special and different story time with special guest, Oliver Hartford. Thank you. You did very good for your first story time helping out. Yes, you did. I hope you all have a good and healthy rest of the time and hope you enjoy the rest of your spring. Thank you.